a pain. <laughs> At least the, the armor that you have, that regenerates. So if your health isn't like great. A sniper. Whoa, holy. Each. Go to sleep. Overload generators. Thought I saw it. I see this one. Got it. Nice. You know what I should have done? Throwing a grenade right there. Or, fuck it. <laughs> How conveniently placed. I like, yeah, I didn't think that the sniper was going to be silent there, but apparently it was. <clears throat> Faster reaction than a tactical agent. Also, why do EMPs work on a... I don't know why EMP was work like on a mechanical convoy outside the warehouse. <laughs> we need to get to it before uh, they lock roll pick. out. Once they're mobile, our job gets a lot harder. Yeah, I know. On it. Yeah, I know. On it. Difficult. Give me that money. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower. No shit. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles at once, Shahid? It's Shahid. Should I take the no, shot? If we do that, we <laughs> Should I take the shot with my terrible aim? convoy, we have a chance. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not like agent. I don't think you'd even make the shot. Armed and dangerous allows you to carry twice the ammunition ammunition. Line up a critical hit while hiding in cover. Provides a bonus. Oh, so now we have wait. Yeah, the next two became unlocked for these uh, skills. Silent running makes the all walking and running completely silent during the duration of the ability. Is there one of those? I feel like that should be... I feel like silent running should be one of the same thing as like awareness master where it automatically is in effect. But, I guess not. I 
I never realized how much uh, basic combat martial arts we actually get into. Increases the light before he starts to recover. Endurance. Which one? I'm sure one of these lets you like hack binary invisibility automatically trigger when a camera or art would normally spot him and affords a brief moment of invisibility from electronic sensors. Allows an agent to move on scene, though it can only be triggered if no alerted enemy can see you. When activated, you are invisible for the duration of the ability or until you run, fire a weapon, or anything like that. Okay. Chain shot. Slows down time. My thing is I just don't use these abilities a lot. And maybe that's something that I should be using more. Besides that chain shot, that chain shot is pretty useful. I'll buy the next rank for this. Line up a critical hit while hiding and cover. Uh, resilience. Having all these would be crazy. At master level, you can run while still remaining unseen, but you lose your invisibility when you fire a weapon or throw an object. There's so many choices. Fine, I'll take this. Damn it. So the convoys are Texture's headed. loading. Please hold. The road the convoys on Level snakes four. to the mountains. If you use the foot trails and move fast, you may be able to catch it at the checkpoint. Great day for a jog. Oh my god. Are you kidding? I just realized the guy up there. Bro, please. Thank you. At least I was capable of doing that. What? Running out of time, Mike. I'm on it. A lot of ground to cover. I'll get there. Of course he heard the shot. like Shahid's second in command and he's brought friends they're probably there to meet up with the convoy you need to take them out now the trucks will be here any minute don't know if he knows you're coming if 
you can get behind to his position without being spotted. Might be able to prevent him from warning the convoy. Got it. God, are you kidding me? Oh, there goes that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, oh, man. Up on the top of the bridge. Looks like Shahid's second in command. I need like and a sniper rifle. They're probably there to meet up with the convoy. You need to take them out now. The trucks will be here any minute. Don't know if he knows you're coming. If you can get behind to his position without being spotted. Might be able to prevent him from warning the convoy. Got it. Okay. Gold plated AR acquired. Mike, no first way. priority is the striker. This game is loud. Uh, oh, there's an RPG. This is more like it. It's time to use some outback tech to resolve this problem. some AP just to even out the OP-ness of this. Jeez. I'm also getting shot from behind, so that doesn't help me. 
Got it. If she heeds inside, his head's got to be ringing by now. Good job, Mike. Now be careful. Check to see if she heeds still breathing. I don't know how he's gonna still be breathing with that thing on fire, but okay. Sure. So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I commend you. But you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. Is, is the blood on your hands not enough? On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shahid. Behalf of America? America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Helldeck's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapons. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole? They shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? You said Halbeck shipped the missiles to you? Why? I would tell you nothing. If you are ignorant, nothing I say would change Now the game's quiet. I think you'd be surprised. I suggest you tell me before I let some light shine into that skull of yours. Go ahead, then. Shoot me. I was ordered to recover missiles that were stolen from Halbeck, except now you're telling me they were sold to you. So? There is no difference. There's a huge difference. And everyone who died on that airliner would agree, because that means there's two murderers, not one. Helbeck will never answer for what they did, and you have destroyed all evidence of their involvement. You're still breathing. My testimony will never survive me. In custody, I will be found, hanged, a suicide. Go back to your Helbeck masters. Tell them of your great success. I don't work for Halbeck. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen missile data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Elbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I believe you, but evidence would help. The missiles are not enough? Perhaps not. I have other information, and I can obtain more. You mean if I let you go? No chance. I give you my word. If you know anything about me, you know I honor a promise when given. When you see Helbeck for what it is, I will come back and speak to you again. I will not hide. And I will bring proof. All right. I'm willing to see it. What is this proof? Call your agency. Tell them I am dead. But to remove yourself from the area first, before the call. Give false coordinates. Unless you wish to speak to your god next. Where are you going? I will hmm. contact you. And I think the information I can provide will be worth the time you have spent looking for me. Mike? I'm here. I... dealt with Shahid. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Your first priority is... Westwood? Westridge, do you read me? Mike, get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. Get out of what here. What the hell? Don't just watch them run. Mike. Mike, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. In stereo. Mina? Mike, you need to get up 
and get out of there. Come on, what's wrong? You're in danger. <laughs> he you has no emotion in his voice. But Halbeck, the missile. This is what I would be if I was a voice actor. Halbeck is the one that sent but the missiles to your location. What is going on? I think they wanted to erase the on. evidence of the missiles entirely, and you along with it. Great. So now I'm reduced to being evidence. How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. We'll figure this out. For now, I need a way out of Saudi Arabia with the information I got from Shahid. Already on it, Mike. Thanks, Mina. And thanks for saving my ass. It's my job, but you're welcome. Besides, if you died out in the field, it'd look bad on my resume. That's true. Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol is the only thing protecting you right now. Oof. Tour of duty. Twenty one thirty two Alpha Protocol Safe House. I'm still Price. analyzing the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. And so is Halbeck. So there was a connection between Al Saman and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there. Or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an al Samad cell was activated. But I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald ah. Sun, <laughs> the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to get this information where it will do some good. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's gotten inside off a protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. Mm. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better, I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, hey. Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. <laughs> nukes. So many nukes. Special ah, Kilgan, look at that. Specialization. Now that you've completed your first operation, it's time to select your specialization. Each, each specialization favors three skills that can be leveled up to a maximum of 15 ranks. Select Commando, Spy, or Engineer to specialize in combat, infiltration, or tech use respectively. Alternatively, you can choose operator 
operative to select a cup custom trio of specialized skills. You can also reconfigure any skill you've gained up to this point by using remove rank action to refund some. Okay. I see, I see. So we have spy, engineer, commando, and operative. So spy, uh, good spies are stuff of literature, but great Scott spies don't let themselves become subject to folklore, evasion, healing from the shadows. Engineer, knowledge of explosive compounds and sophisticated electronics. Engineer specializes in device of high impact and low subtlety. Do things uh, commandos train for situations where they're outnumbered and outgunned. Honestly, this game, the way the game plays with some of the missions, commando is 100%. The, you shouldn't even bother, <laughs> honestly, with stealth. Just straight up, like, pew pew everybody. But, um, I think I might go operative. So that way I can choose my own. Danger and morally suspect world of espionage weeds out the regularly minded. Most agents find their own way through life and specialize in an unorthodox variety of skills. So I'm curious. So if I say if I select spy, which ones are that? Okay, I see. And it unlocks the specializations for wave view skills. Oh, it's just okay. So if you get if you go spy, it unlocks more abilities for stealth, pistols, and martial arts. But I feel like martial arts is meh. Meh. Technical aptitude is. Brilliance is activated the cooldown timers of all their abilities. I almost feel like you're better off with stealth pistols and sabotage. Because sabotage is lock picking, hacking. Uh, you can get past cameras. You can re remotely hack. And computer hacking at a long range like what but they want you to take martial arts like i can see martial arts being useful but i don't feel like enough where jump attacks add a sprinting strike to your arsenal press e while sprinting to perform a jumping knee kick i mean i guess it, it could be pretty useful but i don't think it's that useful can i deselect the skill Oh, okay. Yeah, let me do operative. So does spy remove? Wait, now I'm so confused. Engineer. Okay, I see. Go engineer, then it'll bump up these. Room sweep expert. Temporarily enhances the deadliness of the shotgun, increasing rate of fire, uh, overclock, technical aptitude. Hmm. Now it's pretty cool. Technical aptitude. Weapon customization. That too. All right, yeah, we're definitely going. I am going to do this. So stealth. Uh. Well. Hmm. Concealment master. I can spy you while moving in cover or in a crouch position. Are not affected by the vision reduction. Cameras and enemies alerted to your presence are not. Oh, okay. 
I get it. I get it. Panic button for sneaking. If enemy is about to spy you, division will fire off and give you a brief moment of invisibility. Pistols. Chain shot. Yeah. Two pistols. And then sabotage. I almost feel like if you didn't want to, you, I mean, you don't have to do stealth, technical aptitude, and sabotage could really be like a successful uh, loadout too, I feel like. Because then you'd be able to have brilliance, armor customization, weapon customization. And streamline and re-engineer his firearms to maximize muzzle velocity and ballistic spin. Automatically increase the damage of every weapon Mike owns. This can be... And then also that, like, your health really goes up. One really cool way of being a, if you went your own route, you could do like toughness, martial arts, and like shotguns. I feel like that, you'd be like a brute just running in there. When you get really close, you can use a shotgun or you can, if you have martial arts loaded up, then you can just like start fury. That'd be really cool too. But I'm gonna go this route. I'm gonna go sabotage, stealth, pistols. Yes. The reporter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Black Taipei. Widow? But after that, we lost track of her. Was that a question? If so, it's classified. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Classified. Coincidence? I don't know. All right, got Rome, Moscow, or Tepe. Uh, so I saw this suggest should, yeah, suggested mission order. Saudi Arabia, Moscow, Rome, and Tepe. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then it has like different ones. I see, I see. Minor spoilers, mission names. I might actually follow that. Let's see what well, you should know. Secondary tips. Get stealth to five. Even if you don't play that much stealthy, being able to see where enemies exist it is extremely useful no matter what you're doing. Uh, yep, one point in sabotage. Get a chance to respect once at a character creation when you finish Saudi Arabia. It's impossible to ghost the game, but it's possible to ghost some levels. Stealth is generally the harder way to play because you need to be good at both sneaking and combat, so you might want to save that for veteran replay. There's no reward for pacifist slash no alarm runs due to scripted events. Don't frustrate yourself as a self-imposed challenge. Some doors with lockpicking minigame have a break door button above the abort button. Use it so if you don't mind raising alarm. That's really cool. Guy blocking your melee attack, you may want to stop for a second, give him a chance to start an attack, then quickly punch him. Theoretically, if you shoot alarm panels, guys without radios can't raise an alarm. In practice, it's a bit more wonky. True. Best source of money are blackmail for Halbeck Intel. Save your money for gadgets and armor. Each of the three training courses and in intro as a bonus mission. Uh, wait, where'd that go? If you ace it to ace Parker's course, you must avoid challenge. Changing out of the hospital clothes, shut down the alarms, you sound, and take down both guards. Interesting. Generally recommend you explore the area in order of Moscow, Pepe, Rome, 
or is unquestionably the culmination of the storyline and where shit gets real. <laughs> but the Moscow boss might be a little bit difficult. Or you can skip between areas if you to level up to get useful stuff. Alright. I'm gonna go this recommended mission order. So we're gonna go to Moscow. Moscow fit safe house. Mina Tang. Yep, start mission. Boom. Moscow, Rome, and Tepe. Tepe? Tapai? I don't know how you say it, honestly. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. Suave. I think I've got you beat. You ever been a pushy woman in the heart of a race? Suave. Once. Suave. That. Cute. Yeah. You could keep that up the entire flight, I bet. Did you already have plans? I was going to invite you to slow down. You're right. It's a long flight. Plenty of time to get your name and hotel room. Wow. You just come right out and say those kinds of things, huh? Uh -huh. When I'm not putting my foot in my mouth. By the way, I'm Mike. So, Mike, when you're not getting shot down, what do you do with yourself that would bring you out to this part of the world? Oil. Well. I'm in claims and acquisitions for Halbeck, apparently. Still getting a feel for the job. Oh. That was my reaction. Or was that an O, oh, as in I've never heard of Halbeck? O, oh, as in the sense of yes, I've heard of Halbeck, military and construction contractor. That name comes up a lot in this region. That's right. I so can't believe it. That spy area, that is an option. Like, oh yeah, I'm a spy. <laughs> Those your legs? Other page. What? Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Hmm. I heard she's on this flight. Photojournalism. Isn't that a bit dangerous, Scarlet? If there's no risk, it's not important. You may be onto something. Here. I don't know about me. that. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. Okay. If you should hear anything, of course. What if I want to call, just to be endearing? You should call someone else. Wow, you're tough. It seems to be endearing, unfortunately. Yeah, but strip off that tough exterior. Mike, your persistence is bordering on dense. Maybe, but is it working? <laughs> your... <laughs> uh, I have work to catch up on. Yeah, and I should, uh... Take a nap. Good night, Mike. If only it was that easy to fall asleep. <laughs> Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Nice digs. I see where all that Black Ops funding really goes now. Invoking Alpha Protocol does have its upside. Jealous. Please, I've used much nicer safe houses than this. <laughs> you are so jealous right now. Erk, social right, butterfly. Down to business then. Do you have a plan I didn't realize. for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid I didn't plan. realize you can use WAS and D. First? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved to the Lenin Gorodsky Station. There might be intel there. Or your I've also freeze. got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important. Although more information would be helpful. <laughs> but from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads too. Getting the lay of the land would be helpful. I'd rather not walk into an ambush if I can help it. Smart plan. Call me when you have anything. Will do. Coalition forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence. All right, so contact Grigori the informant. That's the first mission that we'll do. I need to get used to this apartment. That's customized. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, neighbor. I'm totally not a spy. I can't believe they put it in detail of another person standing or sitting in another room typing. He's probably like the only person that you can see. 
there's a guy playing a guitar over there. This is a nice place. check our email funny thing okay and Uranus I escaped consider this enemy is not awesome odd. okay clearing house is there any new stuff definitely need to buy some ammo thank you oh man what I can literally only buy ammo right now Information on Gregory. Yeah, I'll buy all these. Give me all the info. Terrorist organization Al Samad was captured by coalition forces earlier this week. Mohammed Omar, based in a remote part of Saudi Arabia, was in the middle of over one hundred million dollars worth of smoke. Him and Darcy's photo. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah. With three exclamation points. In financial news, how big industries is facing intense scrutiny from shareholders. Just the latest bump in a troubled road.